What is up guys? It is Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports. I'm bringing you another solo video tonight. Um, just a pretty similar situation to what happened last night. Rooster's got to be up early to drum for church, so he'd be getting up in like a couple hours because they do a rehearsal thing before. So uh, yeah, just going to run it tonight. I've got two more picks for you guys tonight. We cashed on the ones from last night, so let's try to keep it going. Um, I feel really good about the two I got picked out for you, but before we get into breaking those down, if you guys have never tried prize picks, use the promo code below my face. Um, they'll match your first deposit up to $100, so you can put in $100, get $100 to play with. Um, they'll match you all the way up to $100, but you can put in what you want, what you can afford, obviously. So you can put in like $10, and they'll give you $20. So good deal. Um, so these are the two picks I've got for you guys tonight. I got two first half PRAs. I've got Kelly Oubre uh, Jr. for his first half PRA over 13. And I've got Brooke Lopez for his first half PRA over eight and a half. And I'll get into why. Um, but before I do, if you guys have never tried Daily Grind, go check them out. They, we use them in every video. Um, we use them all the time, not even just in the videos. We use them for searching out plays, confirming plays, uh, finding plays. And they put it all right in front of your face. Really clean app so they're giving all of our viewers 25 percent off if you use code backdoor at checkout links in the description for that um cool i'm gonna go over a quick recap of my picks um i'll let russo go over his tomorrow but um i'll talk about the ones in the day video and the ones from last night that we took um so the ones we took from last night we took dante divincenzo for over 1.5 turnovers just like i expected he turned the ball over twice um he got one right before they went into halftime which i was happy about because i knew if he didn't get one in the first half he probably wouldn't go over the line um but yeah he got two he got one in the first half one in the, like the fourth quarter so i was pretty happy about that brooklyn is just so long and lengthy and they play pretty solid defense i know they've given up a lot of weird uh losses this year but they're actually pretty solid when it comes to stealing the ball they're very tough um the other play we took was uh, Demontis Sabonis for over 20 and a half PRA in the first half. I kind of figured he'd have a big game. Um, he's pretty good against Orlando. Um, they're very tough against centers, but he just he's such a great player, man. He reminds me of like Pau Gasol kind of. Um, but I like him a lot, and he cashed that hurt first half PRA for us. So we got the sweep on the, the night video. Um, so that was a nice little two-man power play to hit. In the day video, I'll go over my plays. Um, let me find it here. So um, I had Harrison Barnes first quarter points. I love that play. I play it all the time. That's a great play. Um, over three and a half, he went for four again, so he cashed it again. Ayo Desumu, he did not have a great game. Um, he did not hit a single three. Um, let me see here what he actually shot, because I know he shot some. He was just missing them all. Um, let's see. Yeah, he shot over four. So, I mean, it happens. He played 40 minutes, had 14 points. That's a terrible game. That's what we're saying with these plays. Like, he's gone over that 15 out of 20 times, and people will tell us we're trash because we took that play. It's like, dude, he shot over four. He played 40 minutes, and he had 14 points. The game before that, he had 39 minutes, and he had 35 points and five threes. It's not a bad play. He just had a bad game. That's all it comes down to. Um, <clears throat> And then the other play I took, it was Nikola Vucevic. I really thought he'd hit this with all the outs, man. Uh, Jason Tatum ended up playing, but not that that really affected him very much, but he just barely missed it. Um, we took him for over 15 and a half. He had 12. Um, he had a lot of shot opportunities that he could have had. Excuse me, I'm coughing real quick. <laughs> he had a lot of shot opportunities that he missed, so he, he just had another one of those games where it was like he just barely missed it. Um, I'll take it again. I love taking that play as well. I'm a big fan of the first half plays because a lot of these guys are great in the first half and they fall off in the second half. And that's what Vucevic is um, for the most part. I mean, he has some good games like where he plays the full game and crushes it. But um, as of lately, no. And uh, he just kind of he kind of screwed the pooch on that one. But uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for us. So uh, got the sweep in the day video, went one and two in the uh, or got the sweep in the night video, went one and two in the day video on my pick. So. Bruce had a better night than that, but I'll let him talk about his tomorrow. Uh, so forgive me on those plays, but let's bounce back with these ones tonight. Um, hopefully that power play covered whatever you guys lost on the six man. <laughs> um, so cool. Let's get into these plays now. Um, Kelly Oubre. I feel great about this play at 13 and a half. Uh, if we want to take a look at this here, let me pull it up really quick. Um, so it's saying injury, but it's not him. And the matchup is fantastic for him. When it comes to points, which is what I would expect him to do the most. So when it comes to injuries, Kyle Lowry's out, which actually gives Kelly Oubre a huge bump in uh, minutes. So 
I'm a big fan of Kelly Oubre, and he's been killing this play eight out of his last 10 games. Um, he's done it, you know, not as much in the last 20, but he's been getting a lot more play time. Um, and he's just gotten into a better rhythm. Like when guys don't get that much play time and then they slowly do get increased minutes over a long period of time, they just start to play better. You get into better rhythm, you get more confidence and so on and so forth. But he's been hitting this in just points alone for the most part. But the whole PRA at 13 is such a steal, especially with no Kyle Lowry. So, um, feel really good about this. Uh, going to be taking this one for the over. No daily grind on either of these because they're first half props. But uh, feeling really good about the matchup too. Um, can't look at the head-to-head, -head, unfortunately, but uh, feeling good about it. So rolling that one. My second play is going to be Brooke Lopez for over 8.5 PRA in his first half. He is a wagon when it comes to this 8.5 line and 9.5. 8 um, 8.5 is the really big steal with him. I realize that because I've gotten burned at the 9.5 line a couple times. But eight and a half is an absolute wagon of a play. And there's a potential that Giannis isn't going to play or Chris Middleton. Giannis is a big question mark with the hamstring. Even if he does, I love this play. In the head-to-head, -head, he's gone over this twice against OKC, um, 12 and 18. Um, obviously, there was no Chet, I don't think, in 2022. But, um, you know, Chet's not... He's a good defender, but he's not, like, insane. The matchup is amazing. Um, they're giving up a lot of PRA to centers, 22, 29, and 28 in points, rebounds, and assists. 19.3 in points, 13.4 in rebounds, and 4 in assists. So I love this play. I can't wait to play this tomorrow. I'm going to have it in, like, all my slips. So if it busts, then I'm screwed for the day. But <laughs> um, I feel good about this. He's done it 49 times out of 67 games this year. That's all you need to tell me, man. Um, obviously, Giannis hasn't missed, you know, 67 games. So he's been hitting it with him in the game as well. So I feel great about these two plays. I hope you guys do as well. I've got them locked in and ready to roll, posted in the Discord. Definitely come check us out on Discord as well. We have a lot of fun in there. Um, we posted a whole bunch of slips in there today. I had one that I, <laughs> I had the most frustrating loss tonight. Um, I kind of lost my mind a little bit because I had a six for six that was going to hit. I had Chris Murray under and uh, Scoot Henderson under on his points at 20 and a half. And it, like Denver just totally lapsed in defense. They got so tired in the fourth quarter. He had 13 points going into the fourth quarter with four minutes left. And they let him just drive it to the hole like three times in a row unanswered. And then he got the last points with like one second left. So that was a frustrating loss, but I did double up on it. So it can't be too upset about it. Still made some money. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will uh, you know, definitely be giving you guys another one tomorrow. Uh, if you want to check out Chalkboard, they're another prop betting platform like Prize Picks, but you can set your own line. So I could take Kelly Oubre's full PRA at like 20 and a half, and I could bump it up to like 22, 23, and they'll give me a higher multiplier on it. Or I could bump it down and get like a goblin play type deal on it where it's a lesser uh, payout. So definitely go check them out. Use code BACKDOOR to get another 100% match in your deposit, just like Prize Picks, up to $100 as well. So. Uh, yeah, all that stuff's in the description, guys. I hope you have a great night. God bless. Have a good Sunday. Definitely relax and watch some uh, NBA. I can't wait for the NFL to come back. I miss, uh, you know, watching my Cowboys disappoint me every year. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you tomorrow in the next one.